Welcome back, people, to Hinterland and our Struggle is Real series. So, still a beautiful day. We're in the same day as the last episode. Now, the plan of attack, and it's our last opportunity, is to turn this into another field. We're going to put grass in there. I think we'll probably, because it is going to be grass, we probably will go as close to what we've mowed up as we can and then obviously chuck grass in give it a coat of fertilizer that is the start don't think at the minute there's anything else left to do i don't think there's any contracts at the moment popping up nope still that sugar beet harvesting but as you can see grass down there look we are in the last chance saloon should we say right so without further ado let's jump into here um oh we will need to move that one obviously we haven't skipped forward enough for any pallets of produce to appear that's fine I'm not expecting that to happen this shouldn't take too long to create the field or seed it we probably are going to need to get some more seed but that's fine we can do that um, let's fold that out we will go where should we go i think we'll start let's plow up in front of our shed here it's not always going to look like this we are going to be doing landscaping and adding more sheds maybe even remove this one we've got at the minute as we progress because obviously at the minute it's just putting things down where we can squeeze them i know we own all this land but trying to get the best out of the land in terms of fields and things like that so yeah we will be redesigning as we go building our money up but that's probably some way off at the moment so we'll drop that down Like I say, this shouldn't take too long. Doesn't matter if we go a little bit over where we originally went. Don't want to get too close to that field. And certainly down this end and over there, we need to stick as close to the edge as we can. Because I don't want to be going over and then finding we can't mow our grass or harvest crops whatever we're doing obviously silage is over there fermenting that's probably going to be not till december i would think december the second but it could be a um yeah it could be a possibility that we after this move forward until december just so that we can get going again with certain things. Right, off we go. Let's put that on a minute because. Yes, yeah, so we stay something like that. This is good, this is good. As we know, we can't really do anything with the stones at the moment, but that's fine. Whoa, that would do. Lift that up. That is very close. <laughs> I probably went one too many there. Try to be greedy. Then we'll go something like that. So if we try and stay about 90 degrees down there on the bottom of the mini map. Yeah, we're a little bit off compared to last one where we finished. There's a little bit of a bump. I think we just hit it there. Which isn't great, but that's fine. Now up the top I think think what we will do is I'm probably just going to scoot around like that now 
I'm not too worried about that corner where the greenhouse is. This will be fine. Meet up with that. Okay, so yeah, look, you can see the bump over there. It's literally there, but that's fine. But there's our next field. So we're getting bigger and bigger each time, I think. <laughs> but this is going to be grass. In the hope that we are going to get a lot more off of that than obviously mowing up this standard meadow grass. It will at least be fertilised twice. Obviously at the moment we're not liming the fields. We're not um, rolling them. But that will come eventually. So... Let's get this filled in. a little strip there I don't think or can we yes we can get all of it in one go let's raise it up we'll turn the fields off that by that tiny little bit we just done has converted right so let's put our Plow subsoiler thingamajiggy back in under here. Um, let's try and keep it out of the way of the mowers because we will need them at some point. We'll lower that down. Okay, cedar is next. Um, it's tractor just. Well, it's. I was going to say the tractor doesn't like the weight, but it's probably the other way around, really. I've said it so many times so far in this series, it's because the free point at the front there sticks right out. Right, we've got a little bit. It's not going to go very far. We might as well do some. We should be able to see where we go. Now, I have noticed we do have another type of grass there field grass but it doesn't show in any menus so I don't want to run the risk of having a bit of a problem there I'm pretty sure we wouldn't but we'll go with just the standard grass and we'll spread look at that it's just so quick doing it like this I know it's not very realistic I said that before as well but Look how quick it gets the job done. We can come round. I think we're all right to drive on this. We've got very thin, narrow tyres. Off we go again. Tell you what, it's going to do most of this field, isn't it? I did tidy up that little edge there just to make it a bit oh it's very bumpy there as well there we go it's getting a little bit heavy on the front now as we're getting a bit lower with the seeds 
if I do that, whoa, smash, there goes the greenhouse, <laughs> we've not even grown anything yet, Snowy's wrecked it. Yeah, just go straight across there. Like so. Wow, have we got enough wool in here to finish this little patch off? Just a tiny little bit there, I think we have. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to do that. I forgot to press L1 on my controller. Right, so if I go like that, I think we are good to go. It's just that little bit in the middle there. So we need to go and grab some more grass. Might as well use up the rest of it first. So close. It's not quite enough, is it? lucky if we get down there no there we go we're out right let's head on over to the store now I can't remember how much that cedar holds 1300 liters okay it's still on let's turn that off <laughs> that's why we're getting the warning right I'll grab some more seed and oh actually I think we've got no we See, this is a trouble leaving so much of a gap between the episodes. We've got some bags here, but I don't think... Oh, yes, we do. There's a bit of seed there. I bet it's not a lot. Look, looking at the bag, it's been... Oh, wow. That's ridiculous. Okay, we'll stay with that. Now, we do have... Where was the 2,700? Right, I can get that a lot cheaper by going into pallets, I think. Oh no, I can't, can I? Do you know, that's the only thing that I don't like about this farm supply pack mod. It's such a cool mod with what you can get and cheap as chips. It doesn't have a seed one. It does not have a seed pallet. You've got solid fertilizer, you've got everything. Look, total mix ration, chicken feed, which is basically wheat. It does all the crops types, but you do not get a seed one. How annoying. So. Right, I'll fill this up anyway. I think I'm going to get a load of little bags and it will take me a while, but I will do that. And what I mean by that, I think it's in here. No, it's not. It's in this one. It's these, isn't it? I'm going to grab a load of these. <laughs> it's going to take me a while, but I'll get there. And I'll see you back over at the field. We'll finish that off and we need to fertilise as well. I possibly may get the fertiliser and fill that up as well, the spreader. So I'll see you on, hopefully I've done all that. Right, completely ignore what I said because I was going to grab those little single bags and they are the farm pack supply mod or whatever it is. So I couldn't do that because it doesn't have a seed option. So I've just bought one standard base game big bag of seeds which is fine the fertilizer spreader is full over there there's actually a tiny little bit in a bag on the floor as well so with a bit of luck it will do all this field it's quite a big field but we'll see but look at that that is done in record time such an awesome spreader that if you're looking for one and you're not too worried about being realistic there we go that should be all of that field done and growing oh, what's going on over there 
I think we've probably got a bit of sugar cane or something growing in the lake there. Right, let's drop that down. We need to hook up to the fertilizer spreader. Like I say, there is a bit of bag there on the deck. Can we scoot through that way? No, not really. I'm crashing into everything today, aren't I? Whoa, come on, tractor. I do love this little tractor, but I think as soon as we can actually upgrade, that would be pretty awesome. Right, let's get this spreading. This is going to take quite a while, so... I possibly will bring you back when we're almost done. Unless there's going to be some sort of time lapse. I don't know, I haven't figured out how I'm going to edit the video yet so some bits you might see some bits you won't but we'll get this done and I'll see you towards the end righto just this bit left to do we are cooking on gas as they say start to lose a little bit of light though Obviously we are in November, so it's going to go a bit darker, a bit earlier. Right, last bit. We should be able to get that in one go. We have used quite a bit of fertiliser. I did put what was left in that bag, but it was something like 29 litres, so not really a lot. But it does go quite a long way. Obviously, once that grows, we will need to do that again. So we will need to buy some more fertilizer. But I can buy the single bags in. But there we go. We do have that done. Why is that only got a little bit there? Hmm, I wonder if I can quickly work out what's happened there. Why has that happened there? Is that where, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that mulch there. I think because that plough, that subsoil, I've not really used it like that, but it does give you the mulching stage, but I think that's more if you've already had a crop down, whereas this was um, meadow grass, wasn't it? Okay, let's see. I think we should be okay going on this one. Let's see if we can just... get that done oh there we go tiny little bit down there left to do that tidies that up gives us a little bit more better yield doesn't it probably a bit overkill there awesome right while we're here let's quickly look I'm not expecting it to be ah, 7% that's insane we are still in the same month though as last episode right let's turn that off we're going to park this back up and well in fact we could probably leave it out as something i need to do in fact i could probably give it second coat off camera because i'll have until uh December the 2nd to do that won't I yes that won't be a problem as long as we don't get any snow that is of course um, let's drop that down release tractors looking very dirty but no means of washing it yet I don't think there's a jet wash down there um, I'm th probably thinking of another map right well there's not a lot left to do is there so we will they look a bit withered in there but they're not are they we'll skip through the night we'll see what happens um, just there we'll go nine o'clock and here we are we've been hit with that loan interest wow on 35 pounds property maintenance 
That's mad. We don't even own a lot of property, just a shed house and a greenhouse. Ooh, but look at this. We've got a pallet of sorghum. We've got a pallet of wheat. And these we can lift up. Look at that. So we can move them around. So we don't need any pallet forks or things like that. That's pretty cool. We've almost got some oats coming as well. Look. Now, I did think about turning everything on on here because it's going to provide us with a bit of everything we can sell things but my only worry there is it's going to probably produce the things that are quicker so like strawberries probably will be out pretty quick which isn't a problem at potatoes yeah and sugar beet they'll be one of the first what out and obviously it's going to use up more of our seeds lime solid fertilizer etc and I want to concentrate really on trying to get wheat and sorghum out so that we can get some chickens. Contracts. Oh, cultivating. Interesting. 2,887. Two's the largest field on here. It is. Okay. That's... That has my attention. Oh, look at the grass, though. I'll tell you what, that looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Still, it's growing. So that will need another coat of fertiliser. But like I say, I could probably do that off camera. Um, let's head on over to the silage. Excuse the camera collision. Again, I don't think that's... Oh, look at this weight. Should probably put it on the back when we're riding along like this, but it's all fun and games, isn't it? <laughs> it's just ridiculous, look at that. Yeah, I don't think that silage is not going to be nut ready again, is it? I think it's going to be more december the second and we probably will need to go through i think it yeah look no way 44 percent fine that is fine not worried right let's head to the store i'm going to probably get ourselves a cheap cultivator now we're not really probably going to be doing any cultivating ourselves but we can get something pretty cheap. Contracts like that could be worthwhile. They're not going to come around very often. Now I'm talking myself out of it. So, I mean, look at this guy. It's only three meters wide, but 500 pounds it's going to cost us. Obviously, three meters is going to take a while. And then there's these guys. This is five meters for fifteen hundred pound. Obviously, a lot more, which then means you're eating into your profit from the contract. What was it? Two thousand eight hundred. Still going to make thirteen hundred off of that. tempted with this you know let's buy that it's probably going to look silly isn't it there it is you wait when we get over to that field that's going to look minute <laughs> but good profit let's fold it out let's have a quick look not too bad. Yeah, that's going to take forever, actually. Isn't it? What have I done? Think of the profit. Thinking of the money. Oh, wow. Look, I've just looked at the weather up there. We do have snow coming. When is that coming? 12 midday. Oh, my goodness. Right, I may need to turn the time down just a little bit. To real time. <laughs> turn it off completely. 
right so two is over there yeah this is gonna take a while might as well start there haven't we let's go for it oh i haven't even set, accepted the contract yeah what am i doing look at the size of this oh dear we might as well go for it now guys aren't we accept that this is definitely going to have to be done mostly off camera. But we'll just potter along, we'll get it done. It's a nice winter's day. We'll hopefully get it done before the snow turns up. Are we going to get any 10% warning yet? Pro uh, not a warning, but notification. I very much doubt it. Oh look, they're not even fussed about how much profit they make. They've left bits of crop there, look. Unbelievable. Oh, they got a bit of extra land there. That's weird, isn't it? There we go. I think that was sugar beet in there, wasn't it? Right. Um, so, we've done a full length nothing's come up yet what are we looking at on there four percent fantastic well i will carry on otherwise this whole episode's gonna be me in this huge field i'll see you towards the end when hopefully we'll be almost done and we can collect a decent amount of money from them well that was painful <laughs> took quite a while but we are at 98 percent so i'm hoping very soon i'm just going to go up and down random strips missed a few bits here and there but yeah, took quite a, a long time. 99. But we have made a decent amount of profit by only... There we go, we're done. Laying out £500 for this cultivator. We could have gone for a slightly wider one, but it wouldn't have been as profitable so basically we've made 2387 pounds on that whereas if we'd bought the wider one it would have been 1387 so well, you know the maths are there look at that 8386 pounds in the bank what i think we will do before we wrap up the episode I'm going to skip forward till December the 2nd. Like I say, I can... Um, what am I saying? I can do that fertilising off camera after this episode. Just trying to do a few things, you know, off camera that we've been doing quite a while. Oh, come on, girl. You can do it. I thought I'd take a shortcut through here. Do you need to watch out? There's going to be a few stumps here and there <laughs> where we've hacked down quite a few trees. Still loads left to go, really, before our sort of boundary finishes, but we're doing okay so far. Another piece of equipment to store away in the shed, but what I think we'll do for now is I'm just going to stop there in fact we'll put it in under the shed just in case we do have snow coming right uh, oh we've got another that must be the oats yes look at that so like i say we can sell the oat um let's skip forward though and see what brings 
December the 2nd. Snow by the look of it, I would imagine. Please don't be on the deck because that is going to ruin my fertilising spreading. You know it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. Oh, we do have sunshine on the horizon though. When is that? Oh, that's all right. 11 a.m. I can skip forward to then. That's not a problem. Wow, look at all this we've got. So, wheat, sorghum, oats, wheat, sorghum, oats. No, wheat again. That must be oat. That is good. Right, just, just check a second. Oats. Obviously, we're in hard mode, so not a huge amount of money um, 643 though, we're in December and we're already at 650 at the restaurant. Right, what we could do, I wonder if we can, oh yes, 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 dump that in there, that's wheat, that's sorghum, I can see that, that's wheat again, that is oat. So there's only 2,000 in here, or it will be. How far off are we from getting another pallet? Oh, quite a while, quite a while. But looking at that, let's go into this menu, it's a bit easier. Not really used a lot of seed, slime, or solid burrot. That is good. And basically, we've got one, two, three, four, five thousand litres of chicken feed sat there. Right, I'm going to go and sell this two thousand litres of oat. <laughs> Ooh, it's a bit cold sat on this tractor though, look. I should probably put some winter gear on, shouldn't I? Never mind. Wow, look at the snow going all around the tyres. That's good. Love it. So, we need to head to this restaurant, wasn't it, for that, yes. Port is going up, but I think we will strike while the iron's hot. That gives give us another 12, 1300 pounds. Not really that worried about the oak, we don't need it for anything, so we might as well sell now while it is a good price. This is what I was saying about activating the other crops. I mean, I've not used that mod before, so if what's there, wasn't it? If anyone can enlighten me whether it's worth activating all of them or some of the others, I don't know. But I did want to concentrate more on getting the sorghum and wheat out. There we go, thirteen hundred pounds. Because I think the next thing we're going to get ourselves some chickens because you can make some pretty good money off of eggs. Um, there we go. Let's quickly turn that on. I think it's going to be the same as last time because I had to skip forward to about 11 a.m. for this silage to be ready. I think think that's looking at the case again was it 11 or it might have been later than that yeah i think it's later than that because it goes up two percent every hour i think yes but i'm going to leave it there for that episode guys it is very cold out here i need to go inside and sort out my clothing <laughs> but i hope you have enjoyed this episode if you have please hit that like button if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. That would be awesome. And don't forget to smash that bell so you don't miss any future videos that I post. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.